English opening, two knights variation. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. Black got the better of white in that game. The opening was balanced. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. In the English opening, white plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. e5 controls the d4 and f4 squares, and allows the queen and dark squared bishop to develop. The battle for the e4 square is launched by nc3 by attacking the d5 position. A knight is developed, the d5 square is under control, and the e4 square is attacked by nf6. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is the final book action. That's fine. It is good. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is quite good. The bishop is now in a secure position. That's good. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is quite good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is quite good. A very strong play. It is excellent. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Recaptures. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a queen. It is a mistake. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. This wins a tempo on a queen while while developing a piece. It is ideal. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This allows the knight to control more squares. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is a miss. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. This moves the knight to safety. It is excellent. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to fork pieces. It is good. 
This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This threatens to reveal an attack on a bishop. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning material. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is a missed chance to relocate a bishop to safety. It is incorrect. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing knight. It is good. This protects a knight who was being attacked and lacked defense. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. There is a better way to assign a defense to a weak pawn than this. It is incorrect. This enables the adversary to make a pawn attack known. It is incorrect. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This removes the attacking rook. It is best. This permits the opponent to threaten checkmate. It is an inaccuracy. This allows a forced checkmate. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? This overlooks an opportunity to threaten checkmate. It is a blunder. With the right follow-up, this will lead to checkmate. This is the only move that works. This was a game-changing move, giving black a winning position. It is a great move. Recaptures. This is the start of the end game and white is losing. It is best. This continues down the road to checkmate. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This evades the check from the queen. It is best. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. Black got the better of white in that game. The opening was balanced. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. This continues the checkmate threat. This is the only move that works. It is best. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. Black got the better of white in that game. The opening was balanced. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. 